Pine Tree Line Outdoors. It is currently um, May 3rd, 2019. On May 1st, I got an email from um, a company called Sharp Entertainment. First saw the email, I thought spam right away, but the lady who sent the email was a casting director. She was looking to put together a cast for a show that they're developing for a major cable network in the US. I went to work, um, my buddy Rob, who does all the behind the scenes stuff, a lot of social media stuff, website stuff, and all that. I got him to check out whether, you know, Sharp Entertainment was something legitimate or or what have you. Uh, anyways, it was legitimate looking at some of the shows they created, uh, which Man Vs. Food, 90 Day Fiance, uh, Extreme, Cheapskate, a lot of good reality shows. So my interest was definitely piqued. Uh, emailed her back, told her to uh, give me a call the next day, and she called me. Uh, yesterday to talk with her. So she went on to explain the show and the concept of the show that uh, they are creating for the History Channel. The original interest in um, in me uh, was uh, uh, the MRE videos and the reviews and what have you. And also the fact that Jamie does proper cooking. Basically she said she wanted both of us, which was really, really cool. Originally for the show they planned to get an expert MRE guy, but then they, I guess they changed their thinking she said and they decided to go along with um, a different idea getting some kind of everyday guys and guys that are passionate about cooking and passionate about MREs. Basically she said she wanted to have a conference call with with Jamie to include him before we went any further. Uh, she sent me uh, kind of a, I think it's called a treatment for the show and that's basically what this is. She emailed that to me so we had an idea what the concept of the show was or is and uh, currently uh, we set up a conference call which is going to take place in about 45 minutes. Talk further and, and include Jamie on everything. And then uh, from what she told me, the next step after that would be a, I guess an on-screen test, you know, through uh, FaceTime or, or um, Skype or something like that. So when you watch this, you'll know whether or not it was successful or not. So Jamie's on his way over. Uh, we're going to make the call. We're going to talk to uh, Nicole. You know, it, it's reality. It's what's happened. It's, and it is completely as a result of the uh, YouTube channel and being on YouTube. All right, guys. So Jamie's arrived. Uh, he's here. Jam, I, I mean, I called, I, I didn't tell you about the original email because, well, first of all, I didn't know it was legit or not, but once I uh, validated that and I got the call yesterday uh, on my way to work, I called you. Yeah. What was your thoughts? I thought, you know what, it's about time. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what, it's, it's, it's like anything, it, it's, uh, it, it takes a second or two for everything to kind of sink in, yeah. and, and you're like, okay. Okay, so then you try to process it, and you're like, "This could work." You know, <laughs> I, I'm sure we could clear some schedule here, but uh, no, it, it, yeah, it's it's exciting. Like, I mean, uh, by any stretch of the magic, we didn't expect this. To be no, honestly, we didn't. Of uh, course, like, not. we we do it because we enjoy doing it. Like, yeah, I mean, we we, we love it. We ha love hanging out and, yeah. and doing stuff together. Yeah. But I mean, in the back of your mind, you're always hoping that maybe you know people are noticing or someone notices yeah. what you're doing and and appreciates it. And uh, it appears that this is kind of one of those cases where you know, they were looking for for people, someone or or a couple people to do this show, and yeah, we're part of the process at least up to now. Like again, like I said earlier, Jamie wasn't here, but you know, this is what's happening real time. So I don't know when you're watching this, you'll know whether or not we got the show. <laughs> yeah, like you, you don't you don't ever get your hopes up. Like I mean, when you're talking to people about uh, certain projects you're working on. And you, you, you tend to get excited, right? Because oh, you're sure. thinking about all the big, huge possibilities that this could have for, for our lives. Like, yeah. I mean, but uh, we're not, I, like, I mean, not going to get all, you know, wrapped up in it. And we'll enjoy the process. Yeah. You know? I mean, we're Canadian. Hey? Yeah. Like, we, we don't get too, uh, yeah. too excited and we don't we have too, too many big expectations or anything yeah. like that. And, like, and we just go about our normal, uh, you know, daily business, what we yeah. do. And we you know we got full-time jobs and uh, we have families. And, yeah. You know, so. Yeah, so this isn't uh, an end-all, be-all, or a life-or-death situation. Yeah. But we're going to try our best to, um, you know, to, to convince these people that we're the right people yeah. for the job. You know, why they picked us or, or why we were identified. I know right now, after speaking to uh, Nicole yesterday, uh, part of the thing is the, the fact that we're... We're everyday guys. We're not. Uh, we're not experts uh, in anything, really. We're just. We're everyday guys. We're doing the things that many of you do as well. Uh, we're no different. We're just sharing our experiences, and um, 
yeah, maybe it's uh, it's given us uh, you know an opportunity to do something really big here. Uh, maybe not, but either way, it's I find it's uh, it's flattering, and it's nice to know, you know, no matter what happens with this process, that you know people actually watch the videos and actually yeah. you know think enough of us to to you know reach out to us. It's amazing how an opportunity how the YouTube uh, channel it just it reaches so many people like I mean it just blows our mind still when people contact us and, and we see comments from people on the other side of the world and you're like it just yeah it's all right guys uh, I just got off the phone with Nicole from sharp entertainment and basically uh, the call was to meet Jamie uh, she basically gave us more of the premise of the show to the show is about uh, historical food and the way food has uh, the role of food is played in survival and in different generations and uh, different times also MREs which is something that um, basically the History Channel uh, has noticed the MRE community and how interesting it is. They came to the idea of this show that it can't be just driven by one facet of food. It can't be driven just by the MRE community. It's, 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 it's so much more than that. It's the dawn of time, it's the food, the, the different eras that uh, you've prepped food and, and it's just, it's the whole package and that's what caught their eye about our YouTube channel was that we're not driving down one lane. We got several different lanes that we're trying to hit and, and that's what we enjoy doing. Yeah, and, and obviously cooking is a big part of what we do and again, like to Jamie's point, I mean food is the biggest driving force for anything. I mean if you're, you know, people who are uh, prepping or uh, worried about the uh, impending doom or uh, economic collapse or apocalypse or even a zombie apocalypse oh. for some people. Um, it's all about food. What are we going to eat? I mean, ultimately, uh, survival has to do with food. and So it's a big deal. She did mention that they are considering uh, a few different people. Yeah. The list isn't long from what yeah. she said. It, it, is, it is a short list. Short list. She didn't want to um, have to... Um, her job is to, to find the right people. Mm -hmm like right away almost and yeah. and go with that so we feel really good about that right yeah, yeah. and right. uh the next step she said was to uh that we're going to do a facetime call which is going to be recorded and in that call uh she'll be uh doing an actual interview and that interview will be uh forwarded to the producers of the show the history channel to see if uh if they like who we are yeah. and uh, how we present ourselves and just how damn exciting we can be Okay, two text messages from her. What'd she say? What'd she say? She's gonna call us. Is she? Like when? Yeah. We're ready to go. <laughs> Freaking out now. I'm getting rid of my coffee for one. So I don't even have to drink it. You should do the same. Go in your hand now. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna come up as her number or her email. She was just let me know which number to face in. Okay, you got this. Just be cool. Yep. Alright. She said K. Okay. So we're on. It's okay to stand like this. Anyways, guys, here we All are. Right. We're ready to go. Uh, Nicole uh, from Sharp Entertainment has just texted us. Let us know that um, she's ready to make the FaceTime call to us. So uh, we'll get the iPad set up here. And uh, yeah, we're nervous. We're excited. We're all that stuff. We can't wait. It's a great opportunity, no matter what. It's a fantastic experience. And uh, let's hope for the best. Wish us luck that we're going to need it. Yeah. Are you ready to go? <laughs> yeah, I'm just, my mind is just. <laughs> Funny thing is, Jamie, I put some uh, lozenges here in case. Uh, and I said, Are we should we be eating these? And I just popped one in my mouth. And you started crunching it in my ear here. I really punched it. Actually, I feel like I got fresh breath now. Oh, well, who cares? Hey, you know what's funny? Ooh. Is she calling on your phone? Yeah. Hey, Nicole. You. No, okay, no problem. So what is it? Okay, perfect. Bye. <clears throat> she tried, it didn't work. Uh, we're gonna call her. So when it is, yep, that's right. Video. Good call, bud. 
<clears throat> hey, hey, Nicole, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. So it's working? Um, you guys are frozen. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, That's how me, we roll. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me, I'm going to plug into the, to the Ethernet. That might be the issue. So I'm okay. going to call you guys right back. Sounds good. in her office. Who's that? They can't hear us. She's got the earphones on. Dude, what if I draw a blank and can't think of anything? Just focus. Okay, get over here. Yeah. Ah, not frozen. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys doing? We're doing well. Good. Absolutely. So why don't we, um, is there a way, like, I don't know if there's an overhead light, but it's not the best lighting. Is there a way you guys can sit with a window on you so we get some, like, natural light? We can turn, we'll turn okay. you this way. So real conversational, we are going to have fun, personality trumps everything. That's mm -hmm. really what the network's looking for. Um, and you guys have, you know, a great background for this, so that's, you know, working for you. When channel start covering some food because i know that jamie is like the cooker yes and you're more the eater yeah. so, <laughs> you're absolutely right one week ago yesterday we had our video conference um sort of screen test with uh sharp entertainment we didn't really do a follow-up to it uh, so i'm going to talk a little bit about it today i'm going to call jamie in the next little while and and discuss it for now I'll give you my point of view it was a nerve-wracking experience and I think if you focused on uh, just what uh, Nicole was asking uh, I think you you know that was the right way to, to do it and that's kind of what I did I wasn't really thinking about how big of an opportunity this could be or just how unbelievably lucky we are or were to have been part of this process even. I'm not going to speak for Jamie, but I can tell you Jamie was really excited and he was he was nervous as, as I was too. Once the uh, the call came in, bam, it was, uh, it was show time. It was time to go. So, you know, I felt really in the moment and just answered the questions and, and discussed the things that, uh, you know, that she wanted to discuss. So the call uh, lasted about an hour, which was a little bit longer than we'd we had been told initially it'd be a half hour to 45 minutes. And at the end of the call, uh, basically, the only real question that we wanted to ask, uh, what was the next step in the process? And basically, uh, what we were told is the one hour of, of uh, film that she took, video of us, was going to be condensed down to about a five minute uh, time frame. And it was going to be forwarded to uh, Nicole's boss, who uh, would then decide if there was any points that need to be expanded on and if so she would get a hold of us and, and do another video call but uh, it's been a week that hasn't happened one of the crazy things that happened at the end of the call also that I'll touch on is the fact that Cole mentioned was the fact that you know judging from our our interview our screen test she felt that we filled a lot of buckets for a lot of different potential show ideas and the fact that they get shows and develop shows all the time that um, if this didn't work over, there was always a potential that we would be uh, a part of another show or a different show, you know, moving forward. I left everything out there. I did my absolute best. If it doesn't work out, I can't do, I mean, I'm sure I could do better with, with uh, as time goes on, with more practice and, you know, as anything else, you develop and you get better over time. But for this particular, the amount of kind of like self-pressure and uh, thinking how big this opportunity is for a couple of small YouTubers from... Sudbury, Ontario, Canada, like, you know, with just over 2,000 subscribers on YouTube and to be discovered that way, I mean, hey, that's pretty awesome. So, yeah, I was jacked after, felt very confident, still feel very confident. All right, so let's, uh, let's give Jamie a call. Let's see what he has to say. Hello? What's up, bro? What's up, Doug Jedway, brother from another? <laughs> Listen, man, you're uh, you're live on the air with me. I'm live. Well, I'm not. How's my, how's my levels? One, two, one, two, one, two. Check, check. 
Yeah, you're uh, you're blasting out. Actually, you're, like, you're doing better than you usually do. Yeah, I usually don't do well. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you felt about it af right immediately afterwards, and then maybe get into uh, how you feel about it now. I think uh, immediately after, kind of relieved that it was over, but kind of uh, did did I do good enough? You know what I mean? Like uh, it's it's always hard to get a read on stuff like that. If anybody's ever done like a, a video kind of conference interview, it's it's difficult because it's hard to read and you know without basically asking her at the end, you know, how did we do? You know what I mean? And, yeah. and that's one of the things you don't want to do. Yeah, exactly. But I thought you just knocked it out of the park. You were like professional. Doug came to, came to play that day, and like I mean, you were like bang on. You were like professional, and so it was. Uh, yeah, like I thought you nailed it. Thanks, buddy. Uh, the yeah. only the only the only thing I mentioned, I didn't really want to speak for you, but I did mention that like we were both nervous, obviously. But I think your your nervousness was a little bit more outward than I was. Like I, you know what I mean? It, yeah, my me being nervous like, is weird too because usually I can kind of hold it together better than that. Like um, I don't know. You know, part of it's not knowing the person you're talking to. Right. right? Like I mean, obviously, if if we, if we knew uh, Nicole better, it, it it would it would be a lot easier, right? Because you don't know this, the the person you're talking to, so that adds to the struggles as well. Right. So and then you, and then again you're, you're kind of unsure what they're gonna ask you because you really don't know. Like, no, I mean, I mean we were given uh, kind of point form uh, things we should be looking at or, or making sure that we're kind of our knowledge is brushed up on, but we weren't like ever given exactly what we we're gonna be talking about. That's for sure. No, and I think what makes things even a little bit more stressful is that I definitely uh, was a little bit too prepared. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, it does. I, and I, th I think there's some truth to that. I think that, I think because of that, when she mentioned that anything close to something that you had really looked into, you kind of jumped on it as opposed to like maybe sticking with what her, her, her question was, you know what I'm trying to say? I think you were, you were very focused on the information because you had, you had prepared very well for it. I mean, obviously. Yeah. So. But I overprepared. Like, I mean, yeah. I honestly, um, like looking back now, I could have probably not even prepared, and I probably would have done a probably better job. <laughs> 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 that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so just so everybody knows, um, there were a couple spots that were, uh, and I think Jamie would admit that were <laughs> went a little sideways a little bit, but it was actually kind of funny. And, and, and Jamie, I'm referring to like the TV dinner stuff, um, <laughs> but it, it it wasn't anything that like derailed the the one hour of like footage that she was able to get I mean I mean Jamie just got mixed up on some dates and some stuff and then was kind of arguing with me uh, during the call like in a, in a nice way but you know that he was right and and I, and I was saying no you're wrong and in the end he was wrong right okay so let me <laughs> let me let me let me back up my claim here <laughs> go I, ahead I was thinking I was so hung up on this video that Dean Tom put out about TV dinners that it kept sticking in my mind that the video was done in 1980. Actually, I think it was 83, but regardless. Yeah. I was thinking about that, and I wasn't even thinking about the actual TV dinner. I was thinking about the band when they put out the video, and I remember watching it on MTV. Like, I mean... <laughs> so, uh, you got totally derailed by a, a song by ZZ Top. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? You're, you're a big man to admit it. <laughs> yeah. So, that's... Uh, that was yeah. funny. It was, and actually, like I said, I don't think it was anything that... Um, you know, <laughs> made or break well, the, the the call we, or anything. We, we kind of had a good. chuckle over it. Like, we I did. Mean, um, whatever it is, what it is. <laughs> <laughs> when this video comes out, we've either it is known publicly whether or not we've gotten this show. So I mean, yes. uh, I mean, I, I like your confidence and and all that, and and I completely agree. I think we'd be perfect for the show, but we may yes. at this point we may not have gotten it. We this may we may be talking kind of like well we almost got this show. At the end of the day, um, they came to us and contacted us. So that's what I keep thinking in the back of my mind is that obviously they saw something there that uh, was, you know, that they thought that we could do this. So they contacted us. We, we didn't, you know, put in for this job per se, but I'll tell you one thing, uh, we would definitely, we would jump at the opportunity because it's like, I mean, it would be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for both you and I, Doug. Oh, absolutely. And Cole was 
pretty adamant about the fact that we filled a lot of buckets and there are shows that come down down the line that they uh, they produce that we would be good for. So yeah, and and, and she she was well open with us that she does get you know um, opportunities come through her desk all the time, yeah. and and that was the thing she said. If not this, that she could see down the road that you know what, and just that alone, like I mean, that's high praise for you and I. That's high praise. Yeah, it's high praise, and it, you know, it just makes anything that's happened up to now or by the time this video is out kind of thing, uh, more palatable. I mean, if, if it turns out that we don't get it, uh, there's still an, an opportunity that, you know, three months, six months, a year down the line, she may have something that she thinks, oh, those guys would be absolutely perfect for. So if it hasn't happened, like I've explained, we both have uh, full-time jobs, life goes on. We've, we've already shot a couple videos since, uh, well, actually by the time you're watching this, we've probably shot a ton of videos, but I mean, in the last yeah. week, uh, we've already gotten out and stuff. We're, it's not stopping us from continuing to do what we do. Yeah, and, and and I remember you saying to me before, like, you know what, don't be stressed out about it right now. Um, if they call us and say, yeah, you guys got the job, then it's, it's time to be stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, two weeks ago, tomorrow, that we had our screen test. Today, about an hour ago, I got a phone call from New York City. Bam, I answered right away because I'm hoping, of course, it's, it's uh, Nicole. And it was. The deadline has been uh, moved up on her. Uh, so in the editing process, uh, she needs a couple more things from Jamie and I. Uh, the problem is she needs them today. And uh, Jamie's actually at work right now. I told him about it. Of course, he's super excited. And he's able to get out of work at 3. Should be here by 4. And basically, uh, she's going to call FaceTime us at 4 p.m. I'm here out in the uh, wilderness in the backwoods creating yet another epic video for the Pine Tree Line Outdoors YouTube channel. Well, maybe it's not epic, but you know, putting together something else. Black flies are out, mosquitoes are out, spring is here, Northern Ontario. Pretty happy about that. Uh, I just wanted to touch base with you. It is May 31st, 2019. Last Wednesday, uh, I got a call in the morning from Nicole. There were a few extra things that she needed for her final edit uh, of our audition. Decided we'd wear the same clothing to make it a little bit easier for Nicole to edit or make it look a little bit better anyways. So she was pretty impressed by that when she actually uh, she actually talked to us. Um, once again, History Channel, History Unsealed is the show, as it's called right now at this point. And uh, basically we just added on to the stuff that uh, we had already talked about. And uh, one of the things that she wanted uh, Jamie to touch on, which I thought was interesting, was... Uh, about his dad and his dad's influence in his cooking, in his outdoor cooking and his cooking skills and you know the fact that Jamie's dad had passed recently, last February. So that was kind of, it was kind of emotional for me and it, and it was you know pretty emotional for Jamie of course. But I thought it was a nice touch. I thought it was, it's an important part of why uh, Jamie's part of this YouTube channel. Um, you know getting back into the outdoors and, and getting through um, you know, a real tough time when his dad passed. His dad had, of course, as we've talked about in previous videos, his dad had a huge influence on him. So, so that was kind of neat. And the rest of the stuff was pretty much just add-ons, certain things that she needed for the to finish the edit. How do you feel about it at this point? One month since we haven't heard anything, I, and as far honestly, as we know, it's gone to the History Channel. You know what? I I think they might have lost our number by accident <laughs> because uh, I think they should have called us back. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Honestly, after the second time that we spoke to Nicole, I thought we would probably get a call within a week. That was my personal feeling. I thought within a week, okay, is reasonable. Um, and then as the weeks went by, like, I mean, now it's been four weeks as of yesterday, but who's counting? Um, I don't know. I'm a little uh, concerned about our chances. I don't, I don't, I don't. I, I thought we would actually had a phone call by now. Yes or no, kind of right. I'm, I lose hope with every day that goes by. Let's put it that way. And you know what? Sometimes I try to just put it out of my mind and think, you know what? I gotta stop thinking about it so much because it, it, it does. It, it weighs on your mind and you're, it's the what if game, right? Whereas um, how your life would change. No news is good news is the kind of take I'm taking on it. Doug always says to me, they haven't called to say no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Until they call and say no, you don't have it. I'm not too worried about it. I'm, 
you know, life goes on and we're doing our thing and... I'm not worried about it, I just, the, uh, I would just like to know either way, right? Like, what's going on? Is it, is it a yes? Is it a no? Is it a, while well, we're still looking? I'm not very optimistic about our chances going forward. I've had to listen to Jamie no. uh, talk about this. <laughs> and this gonna come <laughs> And uh, every day, you know. It's funny, because today I wasn't even gonna talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> the one day we get together, he doesn't talk about it. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna like freeze you right out. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait another week or so, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna reach out to Nicole. We haven't really, we haven't reached out to her at all, basically because, you know, we wanna be very professional about this. I think she's pretty clear, or I think she knows that we really want this I think I would, I would job. if it was me, I would, if I would have had her number, I would have contacted her after the first week. Yeah, and that wouldn't have done no good because I'm sure no decision would be made then. I still don't think there's a decision that, that's been made now, but regardless, to satisfy Jamie and my curiosity, uh, my plan is to, uh, to give her a call, uh, send her a text, something, an email, and just find out uh, whatever I can find out and we'll kind of go from there. When you're watching this, there is a conclusion. <laughs> we would know by the time but you But we don't it. know right now while we're doing it yeah. what's going on. Yeah. But when you're watching this, when you're watching this on our YouTube channel, there is a conclusion. We've either gotten the show or we've not gotten it. That's where we're at. We're either still hiking through bushes, making fires in the backwoods, or we're in Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs>